Hello, this is the Watch Dog, and welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today, we have another unboxing video for you. I have two more watches from AliExpress, so this should be a lot of fun. Let's start with the wrist check. I'm wearing my Seastern Sub 600T. Wearing it for the last time before I sell it. It's going to make me sad. And Grogu is wearing my Tag Heuer Aqua Racer. I asked Grogu why they don't use atomic weapons in his galaxy. He said they had a fat man and a little boy, but Princess Leia choked the fat man to death and the little boy grew up to be Darth Vader. Alright, let's get these watches open. We'll do the one on the left because it's clearly the cheaper of the two. And man, it's light. I can't believe how light this is. I had ordered a, a new strap and I was wondering at first if this was the strap I ordered because it was so light. And I was wondering why they would put a strap in a such a big container but then I looked on AliExpress and it wasn't the strap so it is a watch Looks very light watch man lots of bubble wrap they sure protected it for such a light watch all right got it out of the bubble wrap Let's open her up. And here we go. And here it is. Not too long ago I uh, reviewed the Addy's Dive BDS watch that looks like this. So I went ahead and got this one which is a lot cheaper. And I figured after I review it, I can do a side-by-side -side with the Addy's Dive. Because they look very similar. Now, one thing different, too, is uh, this doesn't have a NATO. This has just a regular canvas strap. So this is going to not wear as thick as having a NATO. So that's one advantage. But let's go ahead and put it on the wrist and see what it looks like. Here's the watch on my 7.5-inch wrist. As you can see, too, yeah, since it doesn't have a NATO, it doesn't stick up near as much. And it does have this protector on the holes, which you usually don't see on a watch this cheap. But, yeah, it's very light. And as you can see, too, I only have two notches left. And only three notches in the other direction. So you're not going to be able to wear this if you have a really tiny wrist, and if you're not going to be able to wear this if you have a huge wrist. But then again, this strap isn't that expensive. If you have to put it on a different strap, it's no big deal. All right, let's go on to the next watch. All right, let's go on to the next watch. As you can tell by the box, you can probably figure out what kind of brand this is. Especially considering what channel this is. But... All right, let's get this ox open. Man, there's some serious tape here. Either that or these scissors are getting dull. So let's pop it out. And we have another Pagani design. And it looks like they didn't send it in their new box. I don't know if you saw my last unboxing video, but Pagani Design has a new box now. So we got the cleaning cloth. We have the instructions. We have the unsigned warranty card. And do we have a screwdriver or anything? Nope, no screwdriver. Then we have the watch. So here we go. Wow, this is kind of a unusual watch. I bought it because of the loom, because they were really pressing the fact that it has a loom dial. But I was kind of surprised, because if you look at the dial, it looks like a Seiko. But they included the Rolex style clasp. So that's going to be a gripe and groan. I only like this clasp if it's a Rolex homage. Also, it looks like the, the bracelet is strictly an oyster-style bracelet, too. Although the, the Seiko's, their, their bracelets are very similar to an oyster. 
So I guess I can understand the bracelet. I just don't understand the clasp. If you're not homaging a Rolex, don't use it. Because the micro adjust is so difficult to use. So let's get this plastic off. And once again, this is difficult because I don't have any fingernails because I have to keep them short. Oh. Plus it's summer and I don't have my fan on because I don't like the noise when I'm shooting a video and it's getting hot. So, but I will get this done. Let's get this hang tag out of the way. Might make things easier. Hmm, maybe I can't. Just a minute, I'm gonna get the hang tag off camera. All right, got the hang tag off, so that should make getting the rest of this off easier. Man, I'm just having a difficult time. All right, got the bracelet. Let's get the blue off the clasp. And we still, looks like they wrapped the watch head pretty good too. But yeah, it's uh, got a Seiko dial. Alright, the bezel action looks like it's 120 click. And true to Seiko Design 2, it's got a day date. So this must be an NH36. So anyway, the, the point of this watch is the loom. So here, let me use my UV torch. So yeah, it's fully loomed. So this hopefully will have good loom for a Pagayan design. Pagayan design is not really known for their loom, although they sometimes they make an effort. The, the last DMT I reviewed had pretty good loom. So let's put it on the wrist and see what it looks like. Here's the watch and size of my seven and a half inch wrist. And it looks like I can get three fingers underneath. So I'll be moving probably about two links. So, all right. Well, thank you for watching my unboxing video, and I will be back with another review. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.